Hello commanders and welcome to part 8 of the Rise of Austria series in today's episode The Art of Diplomacy In today's episode we are going to finish off the Operation Bosphorus and also I am going to reveal on my conversations with other players as we are going to see the art of diplomacy at its finest conditions. Yeah, I know, Austria is in a tough situation now, surrounded by a lot of coalitions, active players around me, and you never know from which side is going to be the next blow. But here I can save myself uh, using the diplomacies. After all, in conflict of nations, it's not always going to be about the size of army. It's not always going to be about the level of your army. Sometimes you are going to meet stronger a coalition, active, experienced players that can overwhelm your army even with your skills, with your expertise you cannot surpass such huge numbers of armies in that case you are going to use your diplomacies you are going to try to stall your, uh, your enemies from attacking you you are going to make friendships, schemes, maneuvers and the most important thing when you are going to open a front on a coalition First of all, you need people to help you and also you need to have a protected back. These are the rules to win huge battles in conflict of nations. So let's start with my conversation with China. In the last episode, I revealed that uh, me and China we are going to prepare a joint attack on the Americans. Here you can see that uh, China also is playing solo and he is under the pressure of uh, United States of America and Brazil. And oh, look at this message, guys. Limao didn't realize until right now that you are the guy I have been watching on YouTube. Milio does gaming, right? That's you. <laughs> Looks like China just realized that I am the YouTuber and I am going to plan a huge attack with him. But let's see quickly how we are going to do this. The first thing he said that he is going for Vietnam, but I do not want him to lose any time for Vietnam. I want him to go straight for the United States of America and the joint attack from the Atlantic Ocean and from the, uh, from the Pacific Ocean. China goes for the, west, uh, the Pacific coast of the United States and I try to aim for the Atlantic coast of the United States of America and at the same time go for Cuba. But my plan here that I am going to wait a little bit, keep China and the United States of America a little bit uh, busy with each other and I need to solve this issue with Syria because I cannot actually engage in a battle versus Cuba and the United States of America and keep Syria on my back because I do not trust him at all and he can actually wage war at any moment at any second and my homeland cities that are very close to his uh, to his land so he might be a huge threat for me so here i need to assess the situation patiently i need to think about it through but the good thing that um, china is going to be a huge huge asset for us in this game he will be a huge asset for us in this game as I can use him to keep the Americans extremely busy and I might focus all my fire on Syria before engaging into this war, finish him off very quickly and later on focus on the Americans. But also we cannot forget about the Africans. The Africans now they have a problem with um, Cuba and also Syria because Syria I see that he wiped out Egypt in no time and now he is going diving through. Africa, also Cuba is uh, starting an African campaign. So he, these are, I'm trying guys to tell you all about the situation in this game. So when in the comment section you are going to give me your advices about the situation, what do you think is going to happen in the upcoming days, you will have the big picture, the big idea on what's going on in this game. But I can judge that this game is crazy. You saw what happened in the Ukrainian series, I think in this one, more, more, more action is going to happen because um, the number of active players, active coalitions in this game is even more greater than the Ukrainian series. Also, the quality of players in this one is uh, even better because um, when I see that Cuba is doing great work wiping out Spain, United Kingdom, Libya, Morocco and parts of the Americans there so actually he is not a player to be uh, taken lightly and especially we saw that he has uh, level 5 motorized infantry and level 4 destroyers only in day 16. Here um, our city of Bordeaux is under the process of annexation. This is uh, my capital and I am building the uh, secret weapons labs. I use, uh, Of course I started the research of the cruise missiles. 
the conventional warheads also because uh, cruise missiles that are going to be extremely important for me I can launch them from my uh, navies and also from my strike fighters as well so they can help me a lot in the land battle later okay now let's uh, have a look at the messages again United States of America has um, has spoken with me he sent me a message he's inviting me to his coalition and he is saying that Cuba is very strong this is China he is very motivated for this uh, strategy um, here you will not uh, go straight there home says, sorry guys this is a typing mistake I mean you will go straight to their homeland cities because my goal here is not to waste time on their conquered lands on their other places I want to hit them precisely in their core and their core is going to be their homeland cities and stand boys so in big battles like this when you are going against a huge enemy you need to hit straight in where it hurts and where it hurts here is their homeland cities and especially their capitals when you hit their capitals especially Cuba for example if you take down uh, Havana his capital all of his concrete lands they are going to turn rogue and his economy is going to be heavily corrupted heavily corrupted okay only minutes away and Ankara is going to fall to the Austrian Empire here Romania has started his invasion to uh, Ukraine he is invading Ukraine oh well I forgot about Romania guys look at that Romania is active and he is very close to me I totally totally forgot about him maybe because at the beginning of the game he was inactive but now he is back again and he is fighting and uh, winning so much lands there under my nose actually because I did not realize that Romania can be a potential threat for us and the bigger threat here that I do not want to happen I don't want this scenario that Syria and Romania they become in the same coalition and they attack me together well this is a bad scenario that I do not want to happen especially now because now I'm still under the process of um, developing my cruise missiles I want to have a decent navy cruise missiles ready and later on I will be 100% um, uh, ready to fight off these great battles and great wars boys okay after a certain time now you see that we finished off Turkey Operation Bosphorus was 100% um, successful and this is the Austrian Empire in front of you guys we have a huge landmass we have a big empire now and we are ready to fight any kind of battle look at this Cuba hey you can join the USA coalition now why did you turn back it to, to peace okay I am going to send you right away now because well he has an infantry that it is trapped here again he invited me again hey join the USA coalition this is a very bad situation because now he is inviting me if I say no Cuba is going to attack me directly so here I tell him that I have a problem with China and they want to solve it you understand guys what I am trying to do and he knows Cuba knows that China is going to be the enemy of his coalition so if he realizes that I am the enemy of their enemy that means that I am their friend you understand the scheme here so that is going to buy me some time to Cuba for not attacking me in Europe and here I am preparing the plot with China I give him the right of way so he can bring his air force to Europe and also I am going to push off Cuba from Europe and later on go straight to destroy them the ashes will this strategy is going to be successful boys well you never know if you want to know we keep watching this series until the end to see what will happen in this amazing amazing solo campaign with the Austrian Empire Thank you guys for watching today's episode we are going to meet in episode 9 and we will see what kind of updates that are going to happen see you guys and bye bye